All right, so we're going to do our collar now. This is just a stand collar, but um, the construction of the, the actual collar part is um, a, a, an extra bit on from the stand collar anyway. Um, so you can see here that this uh, goes on here. This extra bit that we added on is this bit here. Um, so, and, and keep in mind that um, our, uh, you know, compared to our block, um, the centre front of our block would be here. So half of this would, ha would include the extension. So this stand already has the extension um, included. So, um, so our centre front would be like, you know, down the, down the, the centre front there. So we need to measure from here up to our yoke line. Now when you're measuring for collars and things, always use your grading ruler, don't use your tape measure. Um, I like to just do like one centimetre at a time, um, or one or two centimetres at a time, depending on how flat the thing is, uh, how flat the section is that you're measuring. So this is 10.8. The section that I've just measured there that's for our front um, and our back neck is two four six nine ten point three okay um, so we're measuring just as a, as a checking mechanism. We're not actually going to um, use the measurements to construct the collar. Um, we'll still use the actual collar itself uh, to construct, but we'll just check, check the measurements to make sure they're, they're correct. Okay, so what we'll do is start with a... Um, Start with a line and start with a, a right angle to that line. And then make sure that your point here um, that you've got is uh, sitting on that line at the center back. Which it's probably easier if you had this turned around the other way or had this line there but um, you get the idea. Okay. Just make sure this is sitting nice and flat and you should be able to see the lines in the, um, in the fabric, which way they're going. So it would be easy to, you know, like to do the collar like that but that means that the, the the grain of the of the fabric is going way off so and if you think about a collar construction too generally it's straight and then it sort of just goes up at the end so if that's what's happening you know just keep that happening so we've got that already got that point at the back there So this is a three, three point two centimeter wide. So give yourself enough um, points along the collar edge that you get a nice smooth curve. Like don't have one here, one here, and one here because you'll get you know angles as it's going around the curve so I've got one like maybe every three centimeters which has given me a decent a decent curve and then what you can do too even though I've got points here because I know that you know like this is 3.2 centimeters I'm actually going to use the um, use the original line and what I've what I'm doing is I'm looking at the line through the ruler and I'm lining this line here up with the 3.2 line that I can see, and I'm using that as a guide. 
So I'm actually looking at the at the two lines here. I'm not looking here. I'm looking at these lines here to give me a consistent a consistent width as I go along, all the way along. Sometimes people do this, you know, and then they have to join all the lines up. Much easier. So what you do is you you draw it draw it as far as you need to, and then when when the line starts to go off then you move it until the line sits on top of the line underneath again and then you draw it along and then when it starts to go off then you move it again draw it along when it starts to go off move it again it just takes a bit of practice but you know by the time you get uh around to it it's uh you know it just becomes really easy to do uh now i think that's where that is there i'm just going to check that because i seem to have lost a bit of track now oh, yep that's the point there. Now always start, like don't, don't have a point there. Don't do something like that because remember that you actually have to get in. There are seam allowances inside there. So always start off, you know, at a right angle and then, and then scoop it around into a curve. Okay, so give yourself a nice full curve around there. Because if you start at that point, there's no way in hell somebody's going to be able to turn that into a nice point there. Because they, there's no way they'll be able to get all of those seam allowances inside. Because all of the seam allowances turn up inside the collar. So give them some room to play with. Okay. So what happens now is you'll add your, um, when you add seam allowances onto that, 6 mil seam allowances around the collar piece. I know I haven't add, added seam allowances onto the other pieces but it's quite quite particular with collar pieces okay. now you don't need a point here because there's no collar being attached to it um, what you will do need though is the shoulder notch. So go back to your measurements and you've got this one here. So from the center back to the shoulder line um, is 10.3. So center back here. So measure along 10.3 and have your notch there. Remember because you've, you've only got a six mil seam allowance, you only need like a two or three uh, millimeter notch. Like you can't have an eight millimeter notch with a six millimeter seam allowance. It doesn't work. Um, and the same on the center back there. And so you'll fold when you come to cut this out, never put a collar piece like this on the fold. You'll always have to cut a complete piece. So fold this in half, cut out one side, trace around the other side, and then cut out the other side. And you've got your collar piece done.